It's back again, the one tray bake. This is my meal prep, sumac chicken with sweet potato spinach and a beautiful cucumber yogurt. Okay, so my most requested dish is always meal prep. It's mainly for these fitness chaps out there or people who want to prep for the week in advance on how to make them a little bit more interesting. Okay, so pan first of all for the one pan bake. We've got a bowl and into that we've got four chicken thighs bone in. You can bone these out if you want to. Thigh is where the flavor's at. We're gonna roast this really nicely for about 30 minutes and it's gonna be packed full of flavor. We've got four of those, wash your hands. We're going to season this, so a generous pinch of salt and a good pinch of pepper as well. And we've got some olive oil. I'm just going to drouse this all over the top. We've got a clove of garlic. Just peel that off and roughly chop it. Add that straight to your bowl. We have got over here a little bit of a heat element. So just a small amount of chilli, we're not too much through here. And this is not a hot chili. We just want a little bit of warmth to go through the sauce itself. And we're looking for the actual chicken to actually make the sauce. So we've got a little bit of olive oil in there. We've got our chilies, and then we're gonna add our spices in. So two teaspoons of each one. We've got cinnamon here. We've got two teaspoons of cumin, and then we want that lemony flavor, our sumac. So we've got two teaspoons of sumac, and that can all go straight in. And now we wanna just incorporate all those flavors together and make sure that chicken gets a little bit of the flavor all over. This is gonna go really dark and crunchy, which is how you want the skin to be. And that flavor from that cinnamon, and then working with the sumac works really, really well, because you've got that, almost that lemony essence and that cinnamon sort of um, fruity sort of taste going through there. Just leave that for a couple of minutes just to, just to absorb some of those flavors. Meanwhile, we're gonna cut up our sweet potatoes. So. Over here, these have just been washed and I'm literally just gonna cut these down into nice little chunky sections. They can go straight in your pan. And just dot them around all over the place. Generally for something like this recipe, we're looking at one chicken thigh per person and probably a half of one of these sweet potatoes each. With our sweet potatoes, I'm just gonna give it a good drizzle of oil again. Season. This recipe is great cold as well. Um, you'd be quite surprised, but this one's one of the ones that you stick in a lunchbox. It's great for the next day. It really holds on to its flavor. You can see there, within a couple of minutes, that chicken has gone really dark and started taking on all those flavors. And we're just gonna dot these in amongst the pan. We've got a lemon here. Give that a good roll backwards and forwards, and then save the other part of the lemon to go into our yogurt. So only half a lemon to drizzle over the top. Over here, we've got some beautiful cherry tomatoes on the vine. Just gonna pop them off, and just douse them around the plate. Again, with this type of recipe, you can really play about with it. Aubergine works really well on this. Mushrooms, onion, anything like that works so well with this chicken. You're looking for these to sort of start melting down and giving you the actual sauce because we're not going to add any other sauce to this apart from the chicken juice and the tomatoes. And then over here, we have got some preserved lemon. Easy to do. These keep for so long and they work so well with things like Moroccan dishes as well. All you do is you take some waxy lemons, give them a good clean down, get yourself a kilner's jar, dry that out completely. Then you want to add salt, lemon, salt, lemon, salt, chili flakes and a cinnamon stick. Close the lid and just leave that in a dark cupboard just to do its magic. And you get these, these beautiful, really citrusy, punchy lemons, which have taken on all that flavor from the cinnamon as well. And they're so soft. And the smell from that, it's almost like an alcoholic drink. I wish you could smell this. And I'm just gonna chop these, it's nice little slithers. So basically the salt really breaks down that lemon and it just goes completely different consistency. But the flavor from it is immense. Just gonna scatter that just over the top. I'm gonna take a little bit of our oil from here as well. So that is all just citrus, oil, cinnamon. 
and salt. That can go into a preheated oven at 180 Celsius for around 30 to 35 minutes. Right, to go on the side of this, we're gonna make up a really simple yogurt. I've got some total yogurt, splash of water, give that a good mix round. Squeeze a lemon from the other half of lemon that we left earlier. And you want that to be quite watery, quite a loose dressing, all right? And then we're gonna make this almost like a tzatziki. So I'm gonna take a little bit of cucumber, straight down the middle. Good bit of garlic, just over the top. I'm just gonna add that. So you've got that beautiful punch from the garlic. You've got the creamy yogurt. And that is done. Okay, so this has been in about five to 10 minutes. That can come out. You will notice when you make this, you'll get that sort of smell like a tagine. It's all those moroccan -y sort of flavors going together. I'm gonna take some honey. I'm just gonna drizzle this up and down. And that honey is gonna work really well with the sweetness as well. And it's gonna to help to caramelize everything off afterwards. Back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Right, let's get that out of the oven. And the smell in here is insane. Look at that, it's how crisp it is, all the bubbles coming through. And then we're gonna take some decent handfuls of spinach and just sprinkle them just over the top. And then using a spoon, we're just gonna squash down these potatoes just so they pop slightly. And they're gonna take on all those juices from the chicken. Give that a good stir through. And you want some of that sweet potato and the tomatoes all to start mixing together. Lastly, just over the top, we're gonna to take our little yogurt. I'm just gonna juzzle that around. Just like little dollops with the cucumber. To serve this one up, we've got ourselves a nice little bowl. We've got some of our sweet potato and then one of our chicken thighs just over the top. And that is my sumac chicken meal prep. With spinach, sweet potato, tomatoes, and a little bit of cucumber yogurt. That is gonna be packed full of flavor. That. It's the taste of a tagine, but in a one tray bake. And that works so well. Look, if you recreate this one, Hashtag Miss Hayes Kitchen as always. I'll see you next week. Cheers then. Bye-bye.